Yeah, please. Um, well, I don't know if you want. Jake, James, do you want to go first as normal? Then we'll open it up to any questions yeah. from you guys afterwards, if that's all right. Come on, come up here again. I'll close on personal. Yeah. <laughs> like we normally are. Sat over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jostling for position, I like that. Just get the side if you have a wise key. It's not a good side either, that. <laughs> right, here we go. Well, Keith, the, the fact that we're sat here behind the table with the FA Cup sponsor behind you, the lights are on you as well. It's not just me and James. It, it's, a, it's a big deal for the club this game tomorrow. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a great opportunity for ourselves to uh, showcase uh, what we're about on the pitch, off the pitch, being able to host a, uh, a very, very good uh, championship um, football team, football club uh, here at the PTS Stadium. Uh, excellent for us. How excited are you and how excited are the players? What's the, the feeling in the, in the dressing room in the minute? You had that game against Leighton Orient that you had to focus on. Got that out of the way and all the attention now on Friday. Well, it's, it's been good. Um, I spent this morning going in, checking out some of the new haircuts. Uh, <laughs> the, the beards have been trimmed, so you can tell you know, they're going to be on the TV. And, and uh, it's that excitement that we don't shy away from. We, we want to build up. This, this is a massive opportunity for ourselves to go out and compete against a very good team and a very good football club. Yes, yeah, massive exposure for you. You're on the telly, as you said. It's a, an opportunity to to put the club in the best possible light as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and again, the one thing I can guarantee is that the, the football club, as a as a, as a functioning organisation, we will host uh, Derby County and, uh, and give them uh, the welcome and the respect uh, that they deserve, uh, as we do with every football club that visits us. Uh, and then on the pitch, uh, we will be competitive. Yeah, as you say, not just the club, but the team as well. To put your hard work. Uh, in, into massive exposure and to show everyone what you're building here at the company. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think the, we enjoy working hard as a team, the, and nobody can take that uh, take that away from us. The, the attitude, the, an application of the player has been first class. And, and what you find is, um, we set the players' challenges individually and collectively as a team. And yeah, they, we will have challenges uh, on Friday night, but we won't shy away from them. Um, and working hard, enjoying working hard and knowing that, that that is part of our DNA. That gives us an opportunity against anybody. Just one more on, on the occasion before we talk more about Derby County and your approach. Um, it's, it's pretty much a sellout. There's single digit, uh, single tickets left. Uh, under the lights, the crowd are going to make a great noise. What are you expecting when you walk out at just before eight o'clock for the kickoff? Uh, again, I think it will be a a, a typical uh, cup tie. Um, hosting a good team from uh, from divisions above us with uh, arguably probably uh, the biggest household name in uh, in football potent uh, potentially in their ranks a lot, a lot of people will be coming to see uh, just actually how good is he up close and personal um, and again so no it's um, It'd be a great challenge uh, for the players, but but one that the players are up for. Uh, we know we've got to have get so many things right uh, to get a positive result. Um, but the FA Cup and the beauty of the FA Cup is that we've got a chance because it's 11 against 11 over 90, 94, 94 minutes. Um, you've got an opportunity for referees to make good decisions, bad decisions, um, and again. It's, uh, that's, I think that's the beauty of it. You know, it's not a foregone conclusion. Uh, we, and we know that in that change room. We believe that in that change room. Nobody's automatically saying that we are out of this competition. We've got a chance. Uh, and the chance is over 90, 94 minutes, we have to be on our game. Yeah, what will your approach be? Because they're a good side, obviously, Doug. They're playing in the Championship. They've got some good players as well. Um, but you don't have any regrets at the end of the 90 minutes either. Do you go for it? Well, again, I think um, there's two different schools of thought. The, you can try and contain them, uh, and you can, you can try and fill gaps and fill holes and uh, make sure that they don't create overloads and you can um, defend areas that you think they want to work in. Or... Um, 
you give them problems, um, things that we're good at, and we get on the front foot and we play, uh, and, we, and we ask questions of them. Um, we, uh, we show them respect, and the biggest respect you can show to somebody is by getting closer to them. If you want to stand off of them and say, "Go on, and can you hit that pass? Can you go and find that pass? Can you uh, can you break us open?" They've got the quality in their team that they can cause you massive problems. Can we get them facing their own goal? Can we put balls in the areas that, that they don't like to, to have to compete with? Um, then that gives us a chance. But, um, if we played, if we went out and wanted to play Derby County at their game, um, they have got better players than us. Um, can we get Derby to play our game, um, where we think that we've got players that can give them problems? Uh, yeah, you mentioned already. There's quality all over the pitch for Derby. Um, and you mentioned him already, Mr. Wayne Rooney as well. You, you have to mention now when you, you talk about Derby, what a player. Um, he's already played here at the, at the PTS, of course, when he played for Manchester United, but you never get tired of seeing a player of his ilk. No, I've just, just come out of the office there, and I've just been watching Sky, and I've just seen uh, uh, got the goal he scored against uh, Derby County, uh, sorry, uh, against Tottenham uh, for Man United. Uh, the, the lad as an as an individual, uh, when he's on when he's on the pitch, the, the, you know, your goal is accessible. Um, Great talent, uh, a marvel to watch uh, his instinctive play and the ability that he's got and the enthusiasm that, uh, of how he plays the game. And I think that's what he's bringing into Derby now. He will raise the standards of that football club and the individuals because the players there will want to impress Wayne Rooney. And again, don't be surprised if uh, if our players they want to get close to Wayne Rooney because it might be an opportunity for them to have a picture in a paper of an action <laughs> photo of them competing on the same pitch as Wayne Rooney. Is it strange for you? You do all the analysis before every game. What, 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 do, you, what do you do when you're analysing Derby and Wayne Rooney? Yeah, he's, he's, he's quite good, isn't he? Yeah, well, we went through it and we thought, right, well, we need to stop him doing that. Uh, we need to get two men on him. We need to have uh, put three men in there to stop the overloads. And then we realised we have 14 players on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a final one for me. You had a tough game on, on Tuesday night. How is the squad looking in terms of fatigue, in, in terms of injuries, or is it one of those where that all goes out the window? No, no, no it's, it's work. Um, so we don't get fatigued. Um, I think you get, you get fatigued if you finish your work and then you have to go and do another shift. Um, Tuesday's built up. You know, Tuesday was work. Uh, the players have rested yesterday. Uh, we worked today. Um, fatigue won't be a problem for us. It's, uh, and it, because a lot of it, again, it's the mental approach. Um, we look forward to games. Um, players will probably rather play games uh, than they would do training because. At the, at the end of a game, there's a reward. All the best. Thank you very much. Keith, um, Scott Watson, you obviously be missing him. Can you just confirm you've not appealed that decision? And if so, why, why not? Um, well, no. Uh, yes, Scotty will be missing, and no, we haven't made an appeal because the how the FA is set up that um, the player is guilty. Um, because the referee sent him off, and it's down to us to prove his uh, prove his innocence. Now, unfortunately, the camera angles that, uh, and the footage that we were able to do, we weren't able to um, get enough information that proved his innocence. It's a real shame for him, isn't it? Because he's been so good for you this season, and to miss tomorrow's game is just a, a bit of a cutting one for him, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, but you know, it's a learning curve for the lad. It's. Um, He's a very competitive character. Um, he's on an upward curve in his, in his career, and we're, uh, we're enjoying working with him and seeing it, seeing him develop up to the standard we think that he, that he will achieve. You know, we think he will be become a minimum championship player. But part of that is the learning curve as well. Since the ball's gone in your, in your net, um, you, you've got to make sure your focus uh, is on. Getting the ball back, uh, but not not getting the ball back there. Getting the ball back in, uh, into play, uh, and then uh, continuing your performance levels. Yeah, you, you touched on it the other night as well. That you've obviously playing as three at the back, but with Swarton out, how does that change things? Might it change the shape or someone else coming in? Yeah, um, it's like I've said before. Before the late in Orient game, we we, we haven't got uh, a big squad, but that's been that's by design. But we've still got options within that squad. If I want to change the shape, yeah. I, uh, I can change the shape um, and confidently I can change the shape and put square pegs in square holes or round pegs in round holes <laughs> just wanted to do a quick word on Ethan Johnson as well because it was an amazing moment for him on Tuesday um, getting the squad for the first time just a word for him is, is he someone you've had your eye on yep uh, I think there's uh, there's two young players that are emerging um, uh, Ethan and Caleb uh, uh, they've been training with us and, uh, and will continue to train with us from now until the end of the, uh, till the, end of the season two young players that, that in my opinion uh, have got something different um, 
they are they've, they've got that that youthful youthful ex, uh, exuberance about them that's and probably you could probably say football naivety that they work their socks off but they've got individual talents that, that we can use in the final third that, that they're unpredictable um, but and they're learning the basics uh, and again they've joined a very good group a very good environment at the minute it's a learning developing environment that uh, in my opinion they needed to step up into now um, the, and progress them as quickly as possible. Who won the competition to get the best haircut for the TV? Um, we we got some good contenders. We got some we got some players in there that are arguably they wouldn't look out of place in a boy band. Um, Sam Hoskins, Jordan, Charlie, uh, um, they spend a lot of time on their personal grooming. Alan McCormack, not quite as long. <laughs> so told them they have to put, in, put in a performance then if they're going to be on TV? Yeah, um, again, the, they know how we work, they know how we operate. The you know, Thursdays they can do their personal grooming, uh, Friday's work day. Obviously, managers like a bit of fight in their team, but Tuesday night was an extraordinary what does a manager do when that's, that, that sort of thing happens? Yeah, well, there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing you can do because uh, I've tried doing things in the past and ended up in front of the FA myself. So, no, no there's nothing you can do. We have, we have a code of conduct that, that's in place at the football club that we, uh, that we, don't, um, uh, we don't encourage uh, confrontation. But like I say, uh, there's an understanding within the group as well. Sometimes when, uh, when your player is being jumped on by, by three other players, you, uh, you try and get those, get those players off. And the, I think if you have a look at the aftermath uh, of that, there was punches being thrown by their players. And credit to our players, we didn't react to it. Just, can I just jump in and ask about, you mentioned Wayne there, you're enthused about Wayne Rooney. Is it surprised you that over the course of his career that he's had so many question marks about just how good he is? It seems that every, t- every time he's done something in his career there's been people questioning how good he is I think it's probably because of uh, the ability that he's got uh, like, I would say uh, what is Wayne's best position uh, is he a number 10 is he a false uh, is he a false nine can he play up front on his own Cause, uh, can he play in the midfield as a, as a two or, uh, two or a three can he play coming up in off the left a, and again I think arguably you can build a team around Wayne Rooney uh, in whatever system you want to play because he's got that natural ability that there's so many things that he can do with the football and the vision that he's got of the football pitch it's one of those where you can play him however you want you talk about I suppose if you look at different eras we always talk about don't we? he's one that could could have played back back in your day kind of thing he has got that mentality that it'd have been okay to take a kick or two oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah very very similar to um yeah some of the Senate forwards that probably that he followed there um uh, Mark Hughes uh, again, uh, another player, and I think I think he joined Man United at the right time as well because there were still some very good players there that uh, would have given him the education that he needed as a uh, as a professional um, and how to c- conduct himself on the football pitch. And I think the timing was, was perfect for him to go and join uh, the club. And again, uh, Sir Alex Ferguson then uh, as a mentor um, would again would have would have given him another. Uh, another uh, again that, uh, that added experience uh, of having that, that that manager around him at the time. You mentioned how much he can raise a club's profile like Derby, but can he do more than that? Could he just sign away really to the EFL? Can that raise the entire? profile of, of, the, of the lower leagues yeah, yeah, yeah definitely I think wherever 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 Wayne goes that he's going to get the attention and he's used to that he's had that throughout, throughout his life throughout his, uh, his career he knows how to conduct himself uh, and I think most importantly the, the, the lad has still got a passion to play football and perform and, and I think that's admirable that the uh, how he conducts himself you can see he's still got that enthusiasm when he's on the pitch he wants to play and he wants to win as a manager, as a posing manager tomorrow night, it's a big game there under the lights. You see Wayne Rooney in or out of the team sheet, which would you prefer? Out. <laughs> a million percent um, and again I think going back to uh, to our days or my days when I played probably uh, I wouldn't have minded playing against him uh, but in those days we were, we were allowed to tackle and then just one finally going back to your days obviously you went to a semi-final of the FA Cup what can you use what can you take from that as an experience for you but will you also use that as an experience for your players when you get, if you get further into Cup competition? Yeah, I, th- I think the, the, the message is that like, we play the game uh, and not the occasion um, there's, there's fundamentals that, we, that, that we're trying to put in place that are key indicators of, of us playing well uh, and that doesn't change who, no matter who we play against um, putting the ball in good areas earning the right to play, playing when it's on to play, and when it's not on the play, we put the ball in a good air and we get after it. Very, very simple. If he does play, what position do you expect him to be? 
um, I think uh, from, from the from the videos I've been watching, they've got excellent rotation in their play. Uh, they take dominance of the ball and they control the game. But with that, they don't stand still. There's um, and again, they've got good rotation, but with a forward thinking mentality, they want to get people on the half turn and facing forward and driving at your goal. Um, so there's, I don't think there will be a set position. They've got license to go and rotate possession at the ball. But, but again, with a forward-thinking mentality. So again, it's, uh, do you uh, do you do do you sit off uh, and deny the areas that they want to work in, or do you, uh, or do you uh, press them and try and get them to play League Two football? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed your.